okay, so we started our set with this awesome band out of Scotland called String Driven Thing from the early 70s. Uh, it's it's Chris and Pauline Adams. And the thing that's really cool about this is uh, this is a band without a drummer. They still do everything. It's electric guitars and bass and big hooks and big vocals and everything like that. And it's on this weird label that everything is good on. It's called Famous Charisma. One of those things where you just take chances on it and you go, wow. And so this just has such fire and urgency about it. Kitty, what do you think on this one? Yeah, normally I wouldn't like a band that doesn't have a drummer. <laughs> but uh, I, will, the drummer. <laughs> I will admit that uh, this thing, I mean, it gives it away in the name. String driven That's thing. True. They yeah. just drive it. It's really good. I, I like this album a ton. Big riffs. And you imagine trying to explain this to somebody like, no, you know, it doesn't have a drummer and there's weird droney uh, electric violin and electric guitar. It is hard to describe, much like ourselves. Great. So great songs are great songs and that's yes. why we started and that's the thing about this one is it's a weird one to kind of bring you in so it's the opening track is circus and a great song like you think you've seen everything it has to offer but then it bumps up a little bit and you're just like what are we doing here and that one elevates that one so that's that's our opener i will keep a lookout for that one. Oh, it's so good and then the second one is on vox voxx part of the second wave of garage rock in the 80s uh this excellent band out of la called the leopards uh this is dennis pash's band it's the only thing he ever did which is kind of a drag um but like this is a perfect record you can tell that he's real influenced by like the kinks and and a lot of that like classic kind of like 60s garage pop uh and the song that we did off this one is called empty people and it's like man don't we know empty people you know it's like you know i see them when they're drinking at the bars and it's like i i you know we yeah. all i uh okay so this song is in particularly funny to me because i think it was written in the 80s right mm -hmm. this is from the 80s mm -hmm. um but if you listen to this song it's just perfectly describes everyone you've ever seen out in public like but on their phone you know which we all do it, but like it is, it's one of those things where this song was so ahead of its time. I think in that weird context. I think an empty person is somebody who doesn't love something. Well, I was, I always took it as a, this is an empty person, meaning they're not present in mm -hmm. what's going on mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. this, like just I don't know, just anything. Yeah, yeah, that's how I took this song. And, and you can't love something unless you're present. Present, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, this is an awesome. The tip to tail, this thing is awesome. And the other piece on this one too that I think is really cool is um is that it has back, back back on the track like i mean yes. anytime we get off track it's called back on the track the next one we did was by the shocking blue and this band is most famous for the covers that kind of came out of it so they were the ones who wrote venus you know later made famous by bananarama and they had a run with it too and then uh, love buzz which is covered on nirvana's bleach uh, and i found this in a record store in lima ohio called gromies and all it said on it is original love buzz <laughs> and i'm like Oh, okay. Let's see. And so the last song is called uh, "Send Me a Postcard," and it's got that like that awesome like 1969, 70 kind of like fuzz riff. It has that urgency to it as well, and the organ. And just it's like this twist. It's a garage rock version of the Jefferson Airplane, which is one of our favorite bands. And so this one's cool. It's on Colossus, and she looks a little like Grace Slick in that picture. She does, and nobody's wearing shirts. I'm like, why? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, shirts optional. It's a Danish custom, Brandon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then the final one is maybe the nearest and dearest to our heart, which is called Good Rats Tasty. Um, I found this at like a record rummage sale. And if you can tell, it has like white duct tape all around it. Nobody wanted it. I'm just like, what is this thing? Like, look at it. It's the most grotesque, weird cover and like weird kind of like hairy guys from New York. <laughs> They're from Long Island on the back. <clears throat> I put this thing on. I fell in love. I listened to it nonstop. Um, everything on it. Basically, this, story, this band has a crazy story. So um, they were kind of a big deal in 1970. And they were supposed to be on, they were on Cap Records, which is a big deal. It's a major label um and they were supposed to actually be on the second nuggets box set lenny k was supposed to do a second nugget set which anybody who was on there kind of got this boost and didn't happen got dropped from their label their drummer left and took all of their songs and went to college and they looked dead in the water and this is 1975 and they came back for their second album and so to me it was like wow you know i mean that gap it didn't work out the way they think and the opening track on this thing is called get back to my music and this whole record is like if you're in a band or a musician it just speaks to you on some deep and profound level and he's like and it's so vulnerable too because it's rocking but he's like me i'm getting fatter every day and i'm like 
I'm like, man, don't we all feel that way when we're getting away from the things that we love and youth and et cetera. So I love this record. How about you? Yeah, I was just going to say, I don't know if everyone would have the same reaction to this album, uh, but I think if you're a musician and you make music at all, it just like, that's what this whole album just speaks mm -hmm. to is about making music and still doing it even when you're not like 22 anymore. Yeah. Yeah. 